Hi, my name is Exodia Demosten, and I am here to tell the story of Timnit Gabru, or Timnit Jabru. We'll let her decide. Timnit, Timnit Gabru is a computer scientist. She's a computer scientist. Timnit Gabru is a computer scientist, and she works on artificial intelligence and machine learning and racial bias. Timmit Gabriel. <laughs> Timnit Gabriel was born in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. She is the she <laughs> her mother was an economist and her father was a electrical engineer also holding a PhD in philosophy. Unfortunately, her father passed when she was uh, five years old. She spent most of her life up until the age 15 in Ethiopia, raised by her mother. This was during the time of the Ethiopian and Eritrean war. Unfortunately, some of her family members were exiled to Eritrea and then forced to participate in the war. Timnit at that time sought political asylum in the United States. As we all know, the immigration situation in the United States is trash, um, flaming garbage. She was denied. As a result, she went to Ireland. So she was in Ireland for a brief moment, and then eventually Timnit was granted political asylum in the United States. Upon arriving, she settled into Somerville, Massachusetts, which is, for lack of better words, deeply racist. Um, I'm biased. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Timnit Gabru, or Jabru, went to school there, and she was naturally excelling. She also experienced racial bias and discrimination in her high school experience. She was routinely barred from participating in AP classes. She was smart enough, but she wasn't white enough. After completing high school, she had a very, very traumatic experience where a friend of hers was assaulted at a bar. I don't know how the police work elsewhere, but one thing we know here in the United States of America is, as a black person, never call the police, ever. She called the police, unfortunately. And it was during this encounter that she realized there was a very deep racial bias or racism, a very violent experience that honestly exposed her to the hatred that is brewing in this country, has been brewing, um, towards black people, let alone black women. Timnit Jabru, Gabru, um, eventually went on to Stanford University where she studied computer science. I don't know how else to put it, the girl is a genius. She's brilliant and only like a, like a little bit of people get into Stanford. I didn't get into Stanford. I didn't apply to Stanford, but. <laughs> <laughs> but she got into Stanford. Timnit actually got her bachelor's in electrical engineering and her master's PhD in computer vision. During her PhD, she returned to Ethiopia, then started a program to help Ethiopian children learn to code, okay? This is someone we're talking about who pays it forward. Now, let's get into the controversy, okay? Which really shouldn't be controversy, but it's only controversy because it is the truth. Now, I just want to take a brief moment, brief moment to say, fuck Apple, fuck Google, Fuck Amazon, <laughs> fuck Netflix, fuck, fuck all of them. Fang, that's what they call it. Facebook, 
Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google. Fuck them all. All right? Fuck them. Fuck them. So she transitioned from Apple to Google. And um, while she was at Google, she was working on a paper highlighting and discussing the issues of racial bias in AI, computing, and machine learning and computer vision, okay? Let's just be clear here. If you have racist, biased people creating racist, biased code, that then will be employed racistly and biasly against the people, okay? There's just a straight line here. That's all she said. That's all the woman said. She said, hey, um, if you don't address your bias, you're inherently going to in inject it into the code, which is then going to carry out your bias without you needing to be present. Controversial stuff, apparently, according to Google. Google requested that she omit the names of the researchers involved in this paper. And not only did they bar her from publishing this paper, they accepted her resignation. The issue here is you have to resign for your resignation to be accepted. She didn't resign. Google fired her. So um, per my previous message, fuck Google. Timnit has actually founded her own organization. It's called DARE, which is Distributed Artificial Intelligence Research Institute. And essentially, they focus on algorithm. Oh. <laughs> they focus on <laughs> algorithmic bias. On a personal note, my background is engineering. I was a computer scientist myself. Um, I got my bachelor's degree in computer science and I worked in corporate tech for a few years. It is the pits, the pits of hell. Um, it is very violent and disgusting. Um, so to hear how she spoke out against the conditions, the um, infrastructure, the framework that is continuing to perpetuate harm against marginalized communities, black people, and um, every other non-white group. Um, it's very encouraging to see that action, but it's also discouraging to see that reaction, right? But as we know, this is a very capitalist, patriarchal, white supremacist nation we are living in. It doesn't surprise me that Timnit Gabriel was treated that way. Well, everybody, that's Timnit Gabriel, otherwise known as Timnit Jabru. Uh, she is a phenomenal black computer scientist, artificial intelligence, racial bias researcher, and uh, pioneer. And she is living black history. Um, so I hope you enjoyed.